Good morning, fellow early risers here at Landis Homes. I begin this morning with a puzzle. I have four hints. We are born with it. It is invaluable, but we cannot buy or sell it. We are unable to eat or drink it. And here's the big one. It permits us to enjoy something we did years ago. Have you got it? Memory, of course. We are born with it. We can't buy it or sell it. We are unable to eat or drink it, but it permits us to relive the years that we have lived. Memory is part of growing up. We, are, we, we must be born with it. When something displeases a baby, it howls. Some, someone will come and with the instinct of a mother, discover and deal with their problem. That worked last time, so when something is displeasing, the child howls again. Sure enough, someone will appear. They have learned, or learning is taking place. There is a memory of what they have learned, and then they apply it to the next situation. It was part of, um, of growing up. When something displeased, yes, we've been there. We learn to count to ten. We learn to recite the alphabet. A, B, C. I have a, grand, a great grandson who, before he was three years of age, could recite the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, and so forth. We learn something, we remember it, and then we build on that, and that is how learning takes place. Memory is part of learning. We have memorized key Bible verses. My mother was long on thinking we should memorize, and now I benefit from that, and the, the memory of a Bible verse comes to mind as a situation arises to which it can speak. So we memorize Bible verses, verses as common as, Come on to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We memorize, key, uh, we memorize whole psalms. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 closes with this, Be still and know that I am God. We remember it still. We have a neighbor in Akron who claimed to have memorized the whole Bible. Really? The whole Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. So in disbelief, I said, give me 2 Peter 3, 5. He demurred, insisting that he once memorized it, but now he would need a few moments to re recollect the, the passage in its context. Fair enough. He had memorized it, and it's, it was a very important part of him. Some people can sit down at a piano and, from memory, play for hours at end. It's amazing. I, I, I don't know how the mind can do that. Cooks have memorized their family recipe book, down to the pinch of salt. A few weeks ago, my daughter took me to Baltimore to hear a man give a two-hour le lecture without a stumble or a stutter reciting how C.S. Lewis worked out his salvation. We sat and listened in disbelief. All humans need air, food, and water. Without them, we are unable to live. But sure as night follows day, memory belongs on that list of essentials.
I can say it without being, uh, if I can say it without appearing to be boastful, I have a good long-term memory. My children are amazed at uh, what I can remember of back years. I can say it with, uh, uh, we can relive those moments. I, uh, a long-term memory is a very great gift. It permits us to relive those good experiences, let's say family experiences, or experiences in school, or whatever the uh, experience may have been. A memory permits us to relive them. It is a gift, and, um, we, we, and we enjoy it. But short-term memory, now that is another matter with me and with many of you. That keeps us humble. Life is hard not knowing the days of the week or that the appointment was 7 o'clock or 7.30. Was that West Community Room or was it Bethany Chapel? Now at age, um, and at, at old age, I am learning something that appears to be pure, no when I learn something that appears to be pure nonsense, um, it, it may turn out to be true. We think of forgetting as, as a loss, but it is also a blessing. We hear ourselves say something and we know that is not what we meant, and we see immediately that it was not well received. If only we could take back the words, but they cannot be taken back, but they can be forgiven. But there is a way out to ask for forgiveness, to grant forgiveness. That is the way to live well. What you heard was not what I meant. The record is clear, it was said. It cannot be unsaid, but it can be forgotten. That is not to wipe it from the record. It was said, but we can move on. It is not it is not forgotten, but it no longer matters because it was forgiven. The word remembers is in the Bible, but not as often as I had assumed. Others may figure out why that may be, but I leave it with you for, uh, with an important thought. It is to draw from our memories and to uh, also find appropriate times for, to forgive something that won't, dis, uh, won't be unremembered. So one, uh, I close with one of the instances where remembering does appear in the Bible in Hebrews 8.12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. That is a great promise that comes to us, and it is good to have it in our memory bank. With that thought, I invite you to join me in a word of prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you for making us so that we can recall and we can relive the experiences of our lives by our memory. Help us to use those memories to the best and to your glorification. We are grateful for memories in our lives as we recall them, weddings and uh, happy occasions, maybe a promotion in, at, at work or wherever. A memory is part of life as food and water and drink are part of life. So we are grateful for that memory and where memory is, fa is, fa is failing, we simply must find ways to live with what there is and be happy with it. This all we ask in your name, amen. amen.